Hey guys, welcome to our video. This is gonna be a very special Everyone Solves. Uh, we're gonna be doing this with uh, mostly staff members here at The Cubicle. Uh, we'll be solving on our favorite puzzles, talking about them, and also reflecting on 2021, uh, talking about things that we appreciate from the year and also looking forward to 2022. Let's get solving. Hey, it's me again. I bet you didn't expect me to be back again after the intro. So I did my solves on the CH Tornado V2. This is the one with the magnetic core. I'm using the primary internals version. And this cube is in many ways the perfect cube for me. It's compact, relatively quiet. It's comfortable to turn. The price isn't absolutely crazy. And the features are all there if you wanna adjust them. And I can do both two-handed and one-handed on this cube. So pretty much anything three by three, I can rely on this cube to, to solve on, which is um, pretty cool for me. And uh, 2021 was a difficult year for sure. Uh, the pandemic was still present in most places in the world. And, uh, but one thing I really valued was uh, seeing competitions return and seeing people who worked really hard the past couple years really succeed. And it was uh, really cool to have something to cheer for, right? and to be really happy for people who accomplish their dream. Uh, also working with Cubehead was really cool. His creative energy was really special. And uh, we spent three weeks just making stuff and it, it was really productive and fun and we laughed a lot and uh, it was pretty cool. Uh, next year, I'm really looking forward to hopefully returning to competition. It's been a while for me, get that sub 10 average, stay in touch with cubing, do more live streams and uh, just be around to help the community grow. Uh, that's the dream, and uh, hopefully I can get that done. Hey, it's Jules. Happy 2022, guys. So the cube I'm using in this video is the Maglev WRM. I was really excited for this cube. It's probably my favorite release of all of 2021. And looking back on 2021, there have been a lot of really awesome cubes out there. A lot of it, I actually didn't get to try. So one of the things that I really wanna do in 2022 is pretty much broaden my horizon and try every single thing, even as a potential main. I think it would be really interesting to to try something new from a different brand that I really don't like, like Gan, for example. But yeah, it's, it's, it's really exciting for me. And I hope 2022 brings in some really awesome hardware. And I hope everyone else is just excited as I am for those. Hey guys, it's Jesse. Happy New Year. Hope you guys had a great holiday season. The cube you're seeing me use right now is my custom RS3M that I made. It has 100 magnets in it. It's from that video we did a few weeks ago. It's still really heavy, uh, but I kind of like the momentum of the cube and I've been able to get some pretty nice times with it. I just wish Maglev wasn't so squeaky. Uh, I'm sure there's something we could do about that, but that's my one issue with the cube. But anyways, looking back on 2021, this has definitely been a very eventful year for me. I quit my previous job earlier in the year uh, and then I kind of coasted for a few months I didn't really know where I was gonna go next, what I was gonna do. Then I decided to move all the way from Colorado to New York to start working here at the cubicle. And now cubing is my full-time job. And so far, I'm really glad I made that decision. It's been a lot of fun working here. And I'm glad that I'm still able to make cubing content in some capacity. I'm not really posting on my channel anymore, uh, but I have been involved with all of the latest content here at the cubicle channel. And it seems like you guys have been enjoying it and I'm glad to be a part of it. Looking forward to next year, you just might start to see some more content on my main channel. Channel. No promises, but I've got at least a couple ideas for a few videos that I might make. I also want to keep getting better at cubing. I, I still feel like I kind of suck at 3x3, um, so I want to get better at that, learn more algs. I also want to get into more events. Uh, I haven't really practiced any other events in quite a while. I want to get back into things like 4x4, 5x5, uh, maybe Mega Minx, maybe finally learn Square One, who knows. But the thing I'm looking forward to most in 2022 is being able to finally compete again after almost two full years. Now that I'm living in the Northeast and now that competitions are starting to happen again, I'm finally going to be able to get to go to more comps and I can't wait to see my cubing friends more often and get to travel more. It's just going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys were able to make it through the year okay. I'm seriously really happy that you're all still around for 2022. I think it's actually gonna be a really great year. I'll see you around. So 2021 has been kind of a complicated year, I would say, at least as far as cubing goes, especially as far as cubing goes. We had competitions, then we didn't have competitions, back and forth. For me personally, 2021 was probably my worst year for cubing so far. I mean, obviously I have a job in cubing, so I try to stay up to date, you know, gotta keep up with the best, the newest, the, the fastest, the highest performing cubes. With that in mind, 
I chose the GAN 12 for my cube. I think it's probably my main. I have the UV coated version. I'm really happy with it. Uh, it takes a little bit of setup, like with most cubes, to make it feel exactly how I like it. But with the proper setup, I think this is easily one of the best cubes of 2021 slash 2022. Even though the price kind of killed the hype a little bit, I think it's a fantastic puzzle and it's definitely worth a shot, especially if you enjoy the GAN feel. But with all that being said, 2021, like I said before, was kind of a roller coaster year with cubing up and down. But here's looking forward to a happy 2022. I hope everybody reaches their cubing goals. Hope I can finally get like a 12 second average in competition. We'll see if there are any competitions this year that I can make it to. But like I said, happy new year. I hope you guys had a good one and here's to a great 2022. Hey guys. So uh, yeah, 2021 was Okay, I mean, we can all agree it was better than the year before. So um, yeah, a lot of new cubes came out this year, which is great. One in particular that uh, I feel deserves attention is the Tornado V2. This cube, I'm in love with it. Uh, I use an Angstrom setup and with primary internals. Um, it's, it's been such a great cube. It's actually got me doing three by three again, so that's cool. Yeah, I hope to practice a little more in this coming year, maybe beat my PB in comp or something. Uh, no real goals for it, but it's just fun now. You know, another great thing about 2021 is all the comps starting up again. It's been great to see everyone finally get their chance to go and beat the world records and stuff. And it's been exciting. I'm really looking forward to what happens in 2022. Uh, I really hope the three by three average goes sub five. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. Personally, it's been a pretty good year for me. Uh, things in the pro shop have been really busy. So um, thanks for that. Thanks for your continued support. On a more personal note, I finished school this year again. Uh, I finished a computer science degree. So this upcoming year, I have a few projects planned to do some applications and stuff for cubing. So that could be cool. Still lots to learn. But uh, cubing goals for 2022, I guess uh, it's really just multi-blind. My goal is to be able to sub hour 80 cubes in 2022, not officially, just at home. Uh, it's gonna be tough, but I think I can get there. I'm not making any official goals for the event because I feel it just leads to disappointment. Yeah, I mean, either way, I know 2022 is gonna be a great year for me because I'm getting married in September. So I'm really looking forward to that. Maybe not so much the planning, but it'll be a good year. So uh, I hope you guys had a good 2021. I think we're all looking forward to 2022. I think it's gonna be a great year. Hi, I'm Steven, and I'm using my custom CH Tornado V2 with screws. 2021 was definitely a weird year, but some great things came out of it. I didn't get to compete much, but I finished learning OLL and got into some new events. Working at the cubicle over the summer was an awesome experience, and I'm really glad that I was able to share my pyramid setups with everyone. This year, I would love to get sub 10 on 3x3, sub 7 on clock, and top 10 in the world for pyramid average. It's going to be a busy year in school, so I need to make sure I can balance my classes, work, and cubing if I want to achieve my goals. I also want to make Pyraminx finals at the North American Championship in Toronto and organize a competition of my own at my university. I hope everyone has a great year and happy cubing. What's up guys, happy new year for me. And uh, Jeff, Jeff is so big right now. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the cube you see me using right now is the YoCube Deluxe. It is my favorite cube of the year, which makes sense because the YoCube line are basically my favorite cube set up in the best way possible at different price points. So yeah, that's that. It was very easy. It's my favorite cube. The thing I appreciated most this year was probably making this YouTube stuff my job. Um, it has been so amazing to see how the channel has been growing, how I, I got to work together a bit more with the cubicle, releasing the O cubes and all of that stuff. And yeah, 2020 gave me hope that YouTube could be bigger. And I think in 2021, I actually realized that. So that's amazing. Now going to 2022, what I hope to see that year is to just for me to enjoy it as much as I can, because I've been stressing a lot about making it a job which makes sense obviously when you suddenly have to have to think about money but I'm, I'm comfortable right now i just want to enjoy it as much as i can perhaps create a second channel like no spoilers but that's pretty much a spoiler but anyways guys thank you so much for giving me an amazing year i hope that you get to live your best year of your life ciao peace